Deep in the heart of Kentucky's bluegrass country is the town first and foremost associated with the treatment of narcotic addicts. Since the first prisoner patient was admitted in 1935, the federal hospital at Lexington and its companion at Fort Worth, Texas have borne the brunt of caring for these little understood and often feared and much maligned American dope addicts. For decades, these hospitals themselves have been maligned and misunderstood. They have often been cited as prime examples of how hopeless it is to treat, much less cure an addict. It is well to remember that when opened, these institutions were only a first step in society's enlightened policy towards the drug addict. While steel bars and grill windows are necessary to enforce the punitive side of our judgment, national conscience for the first time suggested research, treatment, rehabilitation. Since 1967, many changes have taken place. The bars and the grills are being removed, taking emphasis off the custodial aspects. A hospital now called the Clinical Research Center and administered by the National Institute of Mental Health has intensified its research into many approaches to rehabilitation. One technique basic to many treatment methods is encouraging addicts to help addicts by working together, playing together, and just being together.